Right. So, Vincent, Twisted Koi, you've got the blame for this one. Uh, yeah, you could say you've kind of inspired me to do a couple of videos about my setup and where we are and the plans for future improvement. So, uh, in a minute, I'm going to spin you around and we'll have a look at my setup and where we are. This was originally dug in a hurry uh, as we moved house. We had uh, a load of large koi that we needed homing fairly quickly. So, it was done very, very quickly initially. So, at some point, it'll all be rebuilt, ripped out, and rebuilt. Um, and in fact, I'm thinking of moving the location of it and putting in a raised pond. So I'll spin you around. Uh, excuse the toys floating around. I haven't managed to fish those out yet. I've been quite ill for the last few months. <coughs> and uh, my nearly three-year-old thinks it's very funny to uh, add to the fish stock with toy fish and uh, Tyrannosaurus rex heads. So uh, when I can get into the pond in the waders, I might be able to reach the bits that I can't reach with the net. So we'll have a quick spin round and uh, show you the pond and then I'll take you around and show you the filters and uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. So this is the pond. Um, there is a waterfall there, but a rat decided to chew through the liner. Um, so that's all got to be ripped out and redone. So we've got a couple of emergency pipes returning water. Um, it's about seven meters by seven meters. Um, it's, I suppose, about three and a half feet deep at the deepest point down there. And it's full of all manner of different fish, goldfish, orf, koi. Uh, biggest koi is about 70 centimetres. Um, unfortunately, I lost all the big koi we moved with last year. We're not quite sure why. But uh, they all started keeling over uh, like no tomorrow. Uh, there's my little lad's addition to the fish stock. So we're running a retro bottom drain. We have a skimmer here, uh, which is currently switched off. Um, it's about 25,000 litres uh, in total. So I'm just going to pause this for a second and we'll go around and look at the filters and things. So we're back around uh, the other side of the pond. This is uh, a project in waiting. That's the veg filter. And that's got about 15 bags of alpha grog in it and various uh, various plants and so on. Does an amazing job of taking out the nitrites. Uh, water comes up through a swimming pool type uh, strainer basket through a one-way valve to a 20,000 vary pump there. Comes up through a Yamatsu 55 UV and then across into an IBC that has a load of filter foam and floss. From the IBC, it runs across here. This is a static bed, which because of the waterfall, um, I've isolated and turned off. And then we've got the main bio chamber, uh, which has about 250 liters of uh, KK1000, K1, uh, all manner of different medias and then we have a three tier 600 uh, backy shower with infrared ceramic media 120 litre per hour uh, air pump there as you can see this is all in a right mess um, I fell ill last year before I had time to, to finish it off uh, grow on tanks are again uh, not quite sorted out. Uh, this is all projects for um, the uh, the coming season. So that's the veg filter and uh, the waterfall, which has a load of viruses in it as well. 
uh, which comes down over here usually and back into there. <coughs> um, and that's pretty much about it. Trickling system uh, on big blues, putting in about uh, a litre and a half. Um, litre and a half an hour, I think it is. I've got that running out. Um, oh, sorry, just covered over the uh, over the camera. <coughs> so that's uh, where we will be at. Um, later this year and then obviously remodelling all the garden I'm going to put some decking in down here uh, to cover over the edge I've got an auto feeder which is turned off at the moment uh, what else we got oh yeah we've got CCTV up there coming over the pond and we've got some uh, some little spotlights on here, which illuminate the pond at night. Let's see if we can get uh, all the piggies are down at the bottom of the pond at the moment. Mr. Voldemort, this is a big uh, ghosty. And we've got. Uh, what else have we got in here? Got uh, Anissa Shower down there. Uh, Blue Wolf, Goldfish. Uh, the big fella sat down the bottom there. Um, just uh, various. Uh, different little fishes but that's uh, that's where I'm at at the moment so uh, it'll be a case of getting the waders on and getting the toys out of the pond um, I've got a heck of a problem with uh, weed at the minute growing on the side of the pond I don't know if you can see that but it's uh, really growing quite well down there so I'll have to get some of that out at some point. Get the old pond back out and get that sorted out. But there you go. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this YouTube lark, but that's the pond. That's the filters. That's the mess. And uh, hopefully we'll sort it all out this season and get it looking like a garden again. So uh, thanks, Vince. I think you've uh, started something here. Um, but we'll see how it goes, eh? Ciao.